New independent national sales director Ari Hathaway, who recently debuted out of the Dacia Wigand area, has a passion that gives her power in this business. Her power is in the discipline of her commitment to her dreams. So see, she's not so very different from you, is she? And after listening to her, you may see that you are not so very far from where you want to be with your dreams. Listen and be motivated and inspired with Ari's tips and scripts for making your dream a reality. Well, I love to talk about booking because truly booking is the lifeline to your business. And if you pulled out your date book right now, I could tell you how much money you're going to make this month. If it's blank, you know it's not so good. But if it's filled up with appointments, girl, I want to hang out with you. And let me tell you, the more times you write in your date book, it's equivalent to writing inside of your checkbook. Have you heard that? Every time you write in your date book, imagine that you are writing numbers into your checkbook. And booking truly, truly is the most important activity because without appointments, nothing happens. So I want to take you through some tips on how you can book. And this is one of the things I really want you to think about. I'm all about strategy, so I'm going to let you into my strategic brain today. When you're writing into your date book, always always, always over book. Always over book. If you've ever worked at a dentist's office, a doctor's office, an attorney's office, a hair salon, anywhere that has appointments, what do they do? They over book. This is nothing that's exclusive to Mary Kay, nothing that makes us different. They know somebody's going to call last minute to cancel or to move their appointment, right? And if no body shows up in that time slot, they're losing money. And so every time you put one person in on one slot, you're putting all your eggs into that one basket. And when that little chick doesn't hatch, we're sad. And we're like, oh, I knew I shouldn't have done this Mary Kay thing. What was I thinking? This is so hard. <laughs> How many of you have been there? We've all been there. And so let me just teach you to put more eggs into your basket and I'm going to teach you how to book more than one appointment into each slot. Your time is your life and it is the most precious thing that you have and you have to value it. If you put more than one appointment into that slot, you're increasing your chances for success. Now, I've been doing this for seven years. I double book, triple book, so you get good at doing this and you develop a skill. And I will tell you in seven years, I've never seen two appointments actually hold. That might be shocking news to you because you're thinking, what do I do if they both hold? If they actually do, this is what you do. How many of you have a sister consultant? Maybe there's one sitting next to you. Okay. How many of you think she'd like to take a last minute appointment? You call her up and you say, hey, girlfriend, what you doing tonight at 7? Great, listen, I've got this party. I can't make it. Would you like it? How many of you think she's going to say no? Exactly. How many of you have ever said, I wish there was more than one of me? You know, there could be 10 of you on one night. If you worked really smart, where you had 15, 15. I mean, I mean just think about this. You're guaranteeing yourself absolute and total success. Let's learn the skill and the art of booking more than one appointment into that slot. Does that sound good? Okay, so we have to have the right attitude, right? So you have to send the correct message to your brain when you are about to book. So I need everyone to repeat after me. I am a master booker. I am a master booker. Everyone I know wants to book with me. Everyone I know wants to book with me. How does that feel? Is that see this is what you need to do to yourself. You know, right before Rocky goes into the ring, he's like this, and his coach is right behind him and he's rubbing his shoulders. He's like, You're a champ, you can do this, come on, knock him out, right? And who's in our home doing that for us? Right, exactly. So we have to learn to do it for ourselves. We have to learn to pump ourselves up. We have to learn to send the correct message. How many of you know right now you could pick up the phone and book anybody? What message are you sending to your brain? Because you could be dreading it, right? Oh, I 
feeling so heavy that phone. I can't pick it up. I, what if they say no? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? We think play all, don't we play all these scenarios in our head? So what do you think your success rate is going to be if those are the messages you're sending to your brain right before you pick up the phone? Right? So you have to clear your mind. You have to send the correct message to your brain. I always try to do something fun right before I get on the phone. If you've never had a cafe con leche, you probably had a latte. Kind of close, not exactly the same. But I love those and I drink one of those and then I can get on the phone. But something that's fun to you, but what I tell girls to do is, and I'm not joking, I actually do want you to write this down, is to do 10 jumping jacks. Please do not hurt yourself. I could just see you at the hospital. Ari told me to do 10 jumping jacks. And <laughs> because if you get on the phone and you sound like this, hi, this is Ari. Yeah, hey girl, how are you? Yeah, I'm tired, you tired, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Listen, I am so excited. So excited. I decided to start my own business. I know that's crazy because I'm so busy, but I mean, if you sound like that, who's going to want to, can I call you back? Oh yeah, sure, 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 whatever. I mean, no one is going to want to book you. If you do your 10 jumping jacks and you get up and hey, Susie, oh my God, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what? You need to sound like you have gossip. <laughs> the worst of scenarios could be occurring to her at that exact moment. Is she going to hang up the phone? Negative. She will not hang up the phone. So sound like you've got gossip. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm so excited. Guess what? She's going to say what? I am so excited. I decided to start my own business and now I teach skincare and mineral makeup with Mary Kay and I have a huge goal. My director has challenged me to do 30 facials and makeovers in 30 days and I would love to borrow your face. I'm available Tuesday at 7, Thursday at 7, or Saturday at 10. Which one works best for you? That script is a script that Daisha Wiegand, my sales director, now my national sales director, gave to me the day I began Mary Kay at New Consultant Orientation. And these are the powerful words that she gave me. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And a lot of you have a script that your sales director gave you and it sounds a lot like that, right? Raise your hand. You have it. Keep your hand up if you actually use it verbatim. Exactly. There it is. Look around the room. Just about everybody's hand went down. And I've had consultants call me and say, nobody's saying yes, nobody will lend me their face. I'm like, really? Why? And they. They say, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, tell me what you're saying. Well, I say this and this and this. I'm like, who taught you how to say that? They're like, uh. I'm like, but why would you say that? That's not what I taught you to say. I don't understand. I don't understand. How many of you have heard your director say this to you? And that's why you're laughing. Oh, this is good. Okay, fantastic. So. If it works, why? And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but she doesn't know my friends, and she doesn't know my family, and she doesn't know. It actually works. I can tell you, I was the furthest from being a Daisha Wegant when I started Mary Kay seven years ago. Not only was I terribly, painfully shy, I was a total tomboy, and none of this really fit into my life. I, I, I didn't even wear jewelry, I didn't wear any makeup, but let me tell you something she had that I wanted. And all I knew was she was way too young and did something that was way too easy for me not to copy how she said. I didn't change a word, I didn't change a punctuation, I didn't change a comma, I didn't change a thing. And I'm going to tell you why. For fear of failure. I was too afraid for this not to work. She knows what she's doing. I was like, what? Are you serious? You just told me to put my eyeshadow on my eyes and my blush on my cheeks and my lipstick on my lips and I already knew how to do all that. How do I do this? So it really truly works, okay? So use the scripts that your director teaches you. Do your 10 jumping jacks, use your scripts. So who do we book? There's three places that you book or three people that you book. Here they are. Number one, the people you know the people you know. That's called your circle of influence, right? Some of us have a really large one, some of us have a smaller one, some of us we moved away from our large one, some of us are remaking our circle of influence, but it's the people you know. Number two is you book from your bookings. You book from your bookings. Put a star next to that. We're gonna come back to it. And number three, networking. Networking. Networking is also called warm chattering. And networking, I'm going to give you the definition, is taking advantage of the opportunity to make a new contact. 
taking advantage of the opportunity to make a new contact. I want to talk about that. Let's go up to number one, the people you know. So have you made a list? Who's got it separated into two? My list and my chicken list. And we got that? Okay. Trust me on this, call that chicken list. Those sharp women, the one that you're scared of, those are probably the ones that are going to help you the most. They're super sharp. And when they tell you something, they're women of their word. Those people that were scared to call, that's where it's at. That truly is where it's at. You got to find the courage. I'm going to tell you where I found the courage. Are you ready? To me, it was scarier to be back at the end of the month with more month than I had money. That was scarier than picking up the phone and asking somebody something and getting a no. Because if they say no, what changed? Nothing. That's exactly right. If they said yes, what would change? Pick up the phone and call the chicken list, okay? So you have a list of everybody that you know. And if you've already asked them and they said yes and I'll call you later and you know, how many of you have gotten a lot of that? The runaround. Okay, here it is. Are you ready? Basically what they're doing is they're fetching you a bone to see if you're going to chase it. Does that make sense? Let me give her an excuse that'll get her off my back for a couple weeks and hopefully by then she's forgotten about this Mary Kay thing. I'm, I'm being serious. Your friends, your family, the people who love you, the ones that you love, want nothing more than to see you succeed. However, they do not want you to waste their time. And if you're just doing this little Mary Kay thing to see how it works, blah, 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 you are wasting their time. But if they know that you are committed, they will help you. So you have to prove to them that you are committed. And how do you prove to them that you're committed? You call them again and you ask again. And if they love you and you love them, you probably even have permission to have this type of a conversation with them. You know who these people are. You ask them again, hey, you asked me to call you back in two weeks. Oh my goodness, I know, but my son is sick this week and da da da. Say, you know what, I completely understand that. I have kids, grandkids, whatever. And I know that when they get sick, everything gets thrown out of whack. But I want you to understand something. I will call you back because I am so committed to my business. And I want you to understand why. You see, I started this business because I have a dream in my heart. And the dream in my heart is to pay off my debt. The dream in my heart is to be home with my children. The dream in my heart is to take my mom on a vacation of a life. Time. The dream of my heart is to own a home. The dream of my life is to be able to be home and do, you know, whatever your dream is, tell her. I have made a commitment and I have a dream and it is through Mary Kay that I'm going to achieve that. So I want to thank you in advance. Thank you for helping me. And I'm going to call you in a week when Brandon is better and everything's okay. I promise I'm going to call you and I appreciate you so much. They need to hear those words. Sometimes we're afraid to say that. But I'm going to tell you why they're going to help you. Because they love you. If they love you, they will help you, period. Now, when you're talking about people who don't love you, who you just know, it is okay. It is okay to tell them your dream and your goal. I'm going to tell you why people helped me. They knew I started this business to buy a home. And I needed to buy a home worse than the air I was breathing. Like I was just like, I need to buy a home right now. It was a huge goal that I was absolutely 100% committed to. So when somebody gave me an excuse, I did not chase the bone. I was not about to go off on a rabbit trail. I stuck to the course. Whatever excuse they gave me, we're going to talk about overcoming objections in a minute. So number one is booking the people that you know. Use the power start script that your sales director taught you. Number two, we had a star next to. Booking from your bookings. This is the key. Okay, so I visited a few parties that were non-Mary Kay parties just to pick up a few tips. Okay, and this is great to go watch other people do parties and make your best version of a party. The most important thing at a party is, are you ready? Connect. You must connect. Sometimes we're so worried that we're going to forget something, that we're not going to say something, that we're not going to tell them what the time-wise complex is and what this consists of and that and that and that, that really honestly we look quite boring. We look frantic, we look scared, and nobody wants to be with us. But if you're in there, connecting with women. How many of you are good at connecting? See what I'm talking about? If your only focus is connecting, okay, here it is. These are the facts. When you walk into a party, know this. The sky is blue. Mary Kay's awesome. 
And nobody's put it on and going, oh, well, that's just horrible. It's not. It's not. They go, oh, right? Don't they? The sky is blue. Mary Kay is awesome. So do you need to prove that Mary Kay is awesome? No. Why do people buy from you? One reason and one reason only. Because they like I will tell you they're gonna like the product. That's a fact, right? Period, fact. They're gonna like, and understand this. Walk in knowing this confidently. They might not tell you they like the product. They might be the heckler the whole time. But you know, some of you that was you and now you're here. <laughs> we love that you are here, trust me. We love that you are here. But knowing your heart, that she's but in her heart she's going ooh, right she might not say it. everyone is saying the same thing everyone you have to go in with that confidence and knowing that okay so my only job is to get them to like me so you want me to tell you how people like you are you ready here it is the only thing you have to do ask them tons of questions what do women like to do more than anything oh my. So I'll sit down, I'm like, hey, how do you know our hostess Susie? Oh, you guys went to school together? Wow, where did you go to school? And what did you major in? And what does your husband do? And how many kids do you have? And da 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 and da 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 Because in talking, eventually we're gonna find a common point of interest and then we, you got it. I'm gonna tell you they're gonna like the product, but if they don't like you, you come across as pushy, you come across as annoying, you come across as anything, they're gonna go home, log in to MaryKay.com and order what? some Mary Kay and it's not going to be from you you have to connect that is your number one goal number two that party needs to be F U N fun 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 put on your party hat I don't care if you have a migraine I don't care if you have the worst day of life you need to have fun you need to go in there and go woohoo we're here to party I'm gonna show you guys the time of your lives you're never gonna forget me in 20 years when people are telling you you look good you're always gonna remember me in this moment and how I taught you that you go up and out and all these amazing things and I'm so excited thank you for helping me like I am just there to give them the time of their lives they're tired they don't care about everything else in between most women don't I did because I'm an information junkie but that's not most women so they are tired and they just want to have fun and they want to relax and if you show them a good time and you go this is the next one fast fast you connect you have fun you go fast so I play a raffle ticket game and I tell them so these are the five steps to having healthy skin if these are the 11 essential benefits inside of our beautiful miracle set it cleans exfoliates brushes moisturizes. I'm gonna show you how many of you think you have time to do that I go exactly none of you have time to do that so I'm gonna show you how you could do this in two minutes in the morning two minutes at night for today, it might take 20 because you're sharing the bathroom with, you know, your six best friends. But in the morning and at night, it'll take you two minutes. So you guys competitive? Do you like to race? Fantastic. Every time I tell you about a product, the first one to put it on, when I say go, we'll get a ticket. Are you ready? Okay, so let me tell you about the cleanser. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, go ahead and wash. Go. Here you go. It goes so fast. And then they're done. I'm like, that's it? Like, that's it. See how easy it is? Guess what that does? It helps you sell more, too. Because they're like, I can do this. If they're sitting there, it's the craziest thing. I, I know we want them to relax, but they're sitting there going, oh, this is so good. And then at the end, you go to close them, they're like, I had a wonderful time. What did you like? I liked everything. Great. What would you like to take home? Oh, I don't have 30 minutes every day. And you're like, ah! And you don't understand, right? So if you make your classes fast, they're definitely going to buy more, okay? So you need to connect, you need to have fun, you need to go fast, and you need to, number four, have a slamming hostess program. Something that excites you to your core. Something that if you were the hostess, you would want to get. And it could change, it might need to have some flexibility, but if you're not excited about it, guess what? You can't sell them on it. And that hostess program needs to be mentioned at the beginning of your party. This is my hostess with the most. This is what she's getting. This is my incredible goal. I need to do 30 practice faces this month. If you will help me, you will get the exact same things. You will get this. 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 Will get this. And sometimes we hold the penny so close to our eye that we're not getting future parties, but we're getting a sale today. And I will tell you something. 
that has completely built my entire business. And tomorrow I'm going to share with you how every single Offspring sales director, 21 of them came from holding my power starts, my first five power starts in this business. I booked party after party after party from original parties. I just kept getting bookings from my bookings from my bookings from my bookings. And you may have heard a few tips about this. Specifically, you mentioned the mineral makeover appointment. We used to call it follow up appointment, right? A follow up appointment, you know, it sounds like a dentist appointment. But if you call it a mineral makeup appointment, doesn't that sound so much more alluring? Right, we mentioned the mineral makeup appointment at least seven times during your party. This is the first of two appointments. Today we're really going to focus on skincare, but who loves makeup? Oh, I love makeup. There's only one problem with makeup. It doesn't solve your problems. I mean, it covers them beautifully, we all agree, but it doesn't solve your problems. So today we're really going to focus on solving your problems, okay? But you each have the opportunity. Don't change those words right there. You each have the opportunity. Do you ever want to miss out on an opportunity? If I called you and said, you have the opportunity to blah, 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 you'll say, Yes, you each have the opportunity to book a customized mineral makeover with me. And at that makeover, we're going to customize one of these compacts. This is our 45-year anniversary compact. It was ergonomically designed to fit in the hand of a woman perfectly. It's made from the same resin as a Toshiba laptop. It's not smudge-proof, but it's scratch-proof. And look at this. It's green. And you're thinking, what? It's green? It looks black. It's green because you'll never need another compact again. This compact comes with a lifetime warranty. How many of you have thrown away some compacts in your lifetime? You'll never have to do that again. And when one thing runs out, pop, there it is. This is the most amazing compact ever. And it's so hot. I love to pull it out in public. And the lip gloss doesn't come out. The lipstick doesn't come out. And we love to personalize. I do this at my appointment. And then I say, how many of you hate that your eyeshadow falls off during the day? OK, we've got eye primer. Let me show you how this works. I'll put the eye primer on my hand. I'll take the eyeshadow. I'll go, this is what normal eyeshadow looks like. This is eyeshadow on steroids. There it is, with the eye primer. You see that difference? How do you hate that your eyeliner runs? You get raccoon eyes, right? Well, let me tell you, Mary Kay eyeliner is waterproof. No more raccoon eyes. Check this out. When it dries, I'll let you all touch it. It won't come off my hand. You get to do all of that the day of your mineral makeover. Are you selling them on the sizzle of a mineral makeover? And if you're not, that might be why you're not getting them. And being able to get people to see you again they're going to want to see you again if they like you and if they want what you have. That's it. And so, so many times we're so focused on so many other things during the party that we're not focused on getting that future booking. Does that make sense? So you're going to practice that. You're going to hold your little compact. All those little things. It makes a huge difference. So everybody wants to do a mineral makeover. Now, occasionally I do come across the girl who doesn't want any makeup. I'm like, okay, great. Don't even worry about it. So is there anything that you're really into? Like, do you want to learn more about skin care, more about eye care, more about body care? Because whatever you liked, I could get it for you. It doesn't have to be that compact. Okay, so booking from your bookings is powerful. The third one is networking, taking advantage of the opportunity to meet people wherever you are. So that means, number one, you need to be prepared. Inside of your purse, you should always have... Here it is, something a little different probably than what you've ever heard, invitations. I generally do not give people my business card, only one reason why, everyone has a business card. I once had a six-year-old give me a business card, <laughs> really. So I want to stand apart from the rest. So I do this very strategically, letting you inside my strategic brain, I give invitations. How often do you get an invitation from somebody? Right, so I carry invitations inside my purse to my weekly meeting, or to the weekly party you hold at your house. The point is, it's an invitation. And stapled to the invitation, I have a little goodie bag with a lip gloss sample. Sometimes I do put my business card in there and a sweet, like chocolate or something like that, okay? Going along with that staple on the front side of the invitation, the most important piece besides the invitation is an information card. If you give somebody an invitation, you're giving them your contact information, you need to get theirs. And if they don't give it to you, I just go like this. I go, oh, are you not interested? I'm so sorry. I take it back. Oh, are you not interested? I'm so sorry. No, 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 really. I'll ask someone who wants a makeover. Really, seriously, don't even worry about it. If you know someone who loves to get pampered and a little extra, I mean, that'd be great too. I'm looking at them like, really? Seriously. You know, and I'll tell you, usually they grab it back. 
but sometimes they don't and I appreciate that I don't feel deflated one bit I'm like oh, thank God she told me now instead of saying yes and then booking her and then she cancels on me ten times I'm glad she said yes now okay you've got to get over that okay so what do I say when I meet people well, first of all you know please don't stalk anybody you don't want to come across as the kooky Mary Kay lady that doesn't give us a good name if I am already in conversation with somebody, we're engaged about someone, you know, all these moms that are the softball moms and the baseball moms and the soccer moms, and you guys wave to each other from your suburbans and all this stuff, these are the people you need to actually talk to, okay? If I'm at a store and I make contact with someone, I'm always prepared. If I'm already talking to them, I do not leave their presence without giving them an, you got it, an invitation. And let's say that it was someone I met, I'll say, you know what, you are so sweet, thank you so much for your help today. My name is Ari, what's your name? Shake their hand, it lets them know that you're doing business. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Susie. I would love to give you an invitation. I am a beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics and I have a huge goal. I need to practice. I'm looking for 30 women who would help me reach my goal. You'll get a free facial and a makeover, an opportunity to help me, and some pampering time for yourself. This is an invitation for my weekly meeting, Monday at 7 p.m., right over here on this street and this street. Are you available? That's it. And she might say, yes, oh my goodness, yes. Or she might say, no, actually I'm not. And say, that's okay, Susie. I would love, love, love your help. So I could come to you. There's a little contact card here. You've got all of mine. Would you please fill that out for me? And I'm going to call you. It's by RSVP only. So if this Monday doesn't work for you, we'll figure it out for another time. But I'll call you. And do you know someone who could maybe help me? Like maybe your mom, your sister, your cousin, a coworker, somebody. And usually they say, yeah, actually, because they don't want to go by themselves. So they usually say, yeah, actually, I have so-and-so. I say, great so when I call you let me know how many seats to reserve it's gonna be so much fun thank you so much for helping me I'll be calling you okay and if they say oh no well I'll, I'll keep it and I'll call you say oh my goodness I'm so sorry if you're not interested that's okay and you literally just take it back like this seriously you just go oh my goodness I'm so sorry like that just like that okay and this is how you meet people wherever you go but I'm gonna tell you having gone from tomboy tomboy to where I am today it, it's what it is. It is what it is. Here it is. Like the sky is blue. Mary Kay is awesome. Here it is. People will do business with you depending on how you are, how you present yourself. I've done it every way and in between because there was a lot of phases between tomboy and where I am today. There's been stages. Uh, yeah, I gave Daisha total permission. I was like, okay, this is all new to me. So, you know, if you ever see me walking in and not looking the part, just let me know. One day I almost got to the doors of our center when she comes running to the doors and she's like, no. I'm like, I'll be back. <laughs> Go home and change, you know? Have you given your director that permission? Listen, a DIQ, she is sharp. She is sharp. And she came up to me a couple months ago before she was in DIQ, before she was a red jacket. She goes, Ari, I don't get compliments on my makeup. What do I do? Tell me what to do. Like that. And I said, okay, great. Here, this is what we're going to do. I want you to do this and this. Next week she came back, she did it. I go, great. Now we're going to do this to your brows. Next week she did that. Great. Now I want you to do some lashes. Okay, great. Now I want you to try this color on your cheeks. Great. This is coming to She goes, Ari, people are complimenting me. When I ask, they all say, yes. It makes a difference. And now I just walk in all poised, all polished in a suit and ask for something somewhere. And they always say, yes. It's the craziest, craziest, craziest thing. And if you don't believe me, try it. Try it. I dare you. Just try it. This is what I put in my mind. I said, okay, if Daisha wouldn't wear it, I'm not going to wear it. Like if, I, if she said, let's hang out, what would I wear to hang out with her? And then I'm allowed to walk out the door. And that's what I did every day. And if I would be like, oh my goodness, she can't see me like this, I wouldn't wear it anymore. There were things I had to throw away. Because if it's there, then you keep putting it back on. And it makes a difference. And you don't need to spend tons and tons and tons of money. You really don't. You really don't. But I did make an investment in my wardrobe because of where I was before I started Mary Kay. And it did make a huge difference in my business. But people will do business with you. They will say yes to you if you have the correct image. That's number one. Number two is confidence. How do you get that confidence? You repeat that script over and over and over. What is the key to learning? Repetition. You have to repeat it over and over and over. And number three, it's practice. Get out there and just practice. You gotta make it a part of your.
everyday life. I just incorporate it into my business. I have so many contacts because I've gotten used to asking. I don't go out to do Mary Kay. I just sprinkle it into my everyday life. So those are the three ways that we book, okay? The number one tip I can tell you to overcome objections, regardless of what the objection is, commitment. Are you committed to your goal? That's it. It's the thing that makes everything work. If you're committed to a marriage, you're going to be married a long time. If you're committed to being healthy, you're going to eat healthy and exercise. If you're committed to being a successful business owner, you're going to be committed to the goal. And no matter what excuse they give you, you're going to find a way to make it happen. You know, and I've had people give me all types of excuses and they'll say, oh, well, I don't know. I just got to look at my calendar and I'll go back to you. Don't say, okay, don't say that. Say, oh, okay, so when you look at your calendar, let me tell you the three dates that I have, and then you can tell me which of those three would be the best for you. So the dates you want me to give you, do you want a weekday or a weekend? A weekend? Okay, great. Do you want a Saturday or Sunday? A Saturday? Okay, morning, afternoon, or evening? In the evening. So we'll say at five or at six? Okay, so at six, my next three Saturdays at six o'clock are this one, this one, and this one. Here you go. I'm going to call you tomorrow. When you look at your calendar, tell me which one works best for you. It's not like they can go look at their calendar and pick Saturday at two in the morning. If they tell you, oh, I'm just so busy. Oh, I'm so busy too. So maybe like late at night, right before you go to bed, I could come over and right before you go to bed, I'll just do it in the bathroom really quick. It'll only take 15 minutes. You could be in your PJs. It doesn't matter. Oh, you guys are laughing, but I've actually done this. I'm serious. I am the queen, I need a crown for this, of bathroom facials. I would show up with my roll-up bag and all I would tuck in it are my facial cloths and I'd hang it up right there, right in front of the sink. Okay, here's your satin hands, here's your satin lips, here's your cleanser, wash, excellent. Here's your night serum, here's your eye cream, here's your moisturizer, how does that feel? Do you get puffy eyes in the morning? Okay, here's your cucumber eye mask, that's it, that's phenomenal. I'm gonna clean up, you fill out the back of this profile card for me real quick. That fast, guess what they buy? I could do that that fast every night? Absolutely, and later at night sometimes it's easier. Your husband's home already. You just gotta come on over, okay? And so make it, are you committed to making it work? That commitment will overcome every obstacle, every obstacle, every obstacle. You know, when obstacles come in my path, I'm like, woohoo, this is gonna be a stepping stone to take me higher. What are we gonna do with this one? And that's the attitude you've gotta have. So I'm gonna give you guys an action plan. Here it is. Set a goal to consistently book three parties in the exact same slot. Not three separate slots, the exact same slot weekly. Every week, the same slot. It makes your life so easy. If you pick Friday night, your husband knows to get home to play with the kids and every Friday night you're gonna go do your Mary Kay and you have three parties booked and you know that how many are gonna hold. Exactly. Number two, consistently work three plus three plus three. A party is how many people at least. Here's what three plus three plus three means. Sell three miracle sets. What do you want them to take home? Period. Sell three miracle sets. Book three makeovers. Complete three surveys, whatever you call them. I don't leave a party without sharing the Mary Kay business opportunity. I've closed the sale, I have the money in my pocket, I have their future appointment, and then I share. I always share. And the last one. Oh wait, no, there's two more. Make it a goal to hand out 15 invitations a week. Put 15 in your purse and hand them all out all week. On Sunday nights, I make my 15 little invitations, I stick them in my purse, and if it's Friday and you still have 15 in there, you got some work to do, my friend. You can't come home until the purse is empty. Okay, and the last one, commit to being a star consultant. Commit, you guys are getting what the word commit means. You hold one party a week because you booked how many? And you sell just $300 at that party. In a month, how much did you sell? 1,200. You take half and that's, you reorder 600 every month. Listen. You hold one party a week and you are a star consultant. I mean, it's not hard, so why do we make it so hard? I think so many times we're trying to eat the elephant, all of it, like just like trying to swallow the whole thing. And if you just do it 
in small bites, it's so much easier. I am where I am today. I can tell you because I had the smallest goal when I began Mary Kay. You want to hear what it is? I started Mary Kay and made one goal. It was actually a commitment. I make a commitment or I do nothing at all. My commitment was that I will hold one party a week. That was it. I was committed. There was not a week, even when I went away on business trips, that I did not hold a party. I was obsessed with it. I had to have that one party because I knew holding that party would allow me to buy a home. I bought my home. Thank you. As a consultant, from the cash, from my sales, I was not a sales director. You can have the exact same success. I believe in you. You are part of the greatest sales force that has ever graced the surface of this planet Earth. You're part of Mary Kay, a brand that you should be so proud to represent. And I'm proud that you're a part of us, truly. And I love being here. Thank you.